Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we have Ms. Priyanka with us, who is life coach, psychologist by profession. She is a psychotherapist and special educator. So she is a founder of community program with the name Peaceful Minds 100, which aims at managing and uh, bringing awareness to the mental health across the nation. Ms. Priyanka, welcome to my channel and for today's session. Thank you so much, Gauri. Today's topic is knowing about negative beliefs, which we all carry without our knowledge. Do you agree to it? Definitely. There are certain beliefs that all of us have about ourselves, people, and the world. And they may be positive and negative, both. But the thing is that most of us are not even aware about it. So we do not realize that these beliefs exist. And they determine how we perceive and interpret the world. Yes, yes. Yeah, definitely. We all carry negative beliefs. So can we know how it is formed? As humans, we give meanings to everything. So these are mostly based on our experiences, on uh, witnesses, or if we are in, influenced by people around us. But there are certain defining moments, those key moments where we give a meaning, we attach a meaning to a particular event. Then we start to gather evidences to support it. The more evidences we gather, the stronger it becomes. Yes, and this yes. is how the beliefs are formed. Yeah, I remember my friend saying that she's incapable of doing a business. So I asked why. So her reply was she had failed in creating a successful business many years back. So she believed in it by developing the perception from that experience. So it is so deep rooted. Yes, very much. I had one of my clients, she had difficulties in her marriage. So when we talked and I counseled her and I gave her therapy, I came to this point when she opened up with me and she confessed that when she was growing up, when she was a child around nine or 10 years of age, she fell off the stairs and had a scar on her face. And she developed this insecurity. She gave this meaning to it that she did not look good. And she carried it to the point that it interfered with her marriage also. She was not able to open up freely with her husband and this would cause issues in them. So sad, yeah. So then these negative beliefs are based on a perception, not on reality or facts, right? Yes, so another evidence to support is most of us do, um, who have um, a dislike for any subject, why is that? We, if we go back, if we remember, if we go back the memory lane, we would remember that one of the teachers must have scolded us or said something to us that we yeah. grew a dislike for the subject. The subject didn't do any harm to us, but it is, it is the teacher and the meaning that we gave to what she said or he said to us that we start to dislike. Yeah, yeah. So there are many consequences by keeping these negative uh, beliefs, no? So what are the consequences? Totally. Imagine if you are wearing green colored spectacles, how would the world be for you? Definitely green color. Yes. And if it is a red colored spectacle on you, then how would the world be? Red color. Yeah. So the world is not in actuality red or green, but we start to view it like that. Yeah. So we have a distorted version of it. Yeah. So how can we get rid of it? Like whether we can, uh, we need to keep these negative quotes or whether we need to get rid of it. There's a confusion in this. <laughs> yeah. So if it is, yes, it is uh, limiting you from growing and reaching what you have to or want to then one must get rid of them. But the first part is acknowledging that these beliefs do exist. Till the point we do not know that these are there, how will we go out and change them? After we acknowledge, the second thing comes is that we cannot change what happened in the past, but we can definitely give a new meaning to it. 
So after we change the meaning and gather enough evidence to support that, that is when we start to behave differently or we have another belief system, a positive one that will encourage us and empower us rather than limiting us. Yes, yes, it is really true. So we need to get rid of it. That's what you want to say. Yeah, to move forward. Yeah. So to conclude, you have yeah. So to conclude, you have explained us how negative beliefs are formed and how it affects us and how can we get rid of it. It's really nice. So yeah, uh, these limiting thoughts are usually the reason why two people from similar background with similar abilities and similar opportunities may end up with totally different uh, levels of success. Totally agree on that. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Priyanka, for your time and sharing your knowledge. So it was really nice talking to you. Thank you so much, Corey. I feel honored to have, on, uh, have, uh, have been on your platform. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.